Hi, boys and girls. It's Papa Jojo. I am so excited to be here today. We are going to be reading a book that I really enjoy. I also love to read to my grandchildren, and they love it as well. As you can tell, they allowed me to use this book, and it's been used for the last seven years, and we've read this story many, many times. It's one of the all-time classics. It's The Little Engine That Could by Waddy Piper. So sit back, relax, and let's go to The Little Engine That Could. Chug, chug, chug. Puff, puff, puff. Ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train. Her cars were filled with toy animals. Giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. I'll bet you he was glad he brought his trunk with him. There were dolls and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. But that was not all. Some cars were filled with good things for boys and girls to eat, and lollipops for after meal treats. Mmm, peppermint's my favorite. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily. Then all of a sudden she stopped. She simply could not go another inch. Her wheels would not turn. Here comes a shiny new engine, said the little clown who jumped out of the train. Please, shiny new engine, won't you pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the shiny new engine snorted. <laughs> I pull you. I am a passenger engine. My train has sleeping cars and a dining car with waiters. I pull the likes of you. Indeed not. And off he steamed. Soon the little clown called out, Look! A great big strong engine is coming! Please, Mr. Big Engine, cried all the dolls and toys. Won't you pull our train over the mountain? <laughs> I have just pulled a train with big, heavy machines. I am a very important engine indeed. I will pull the likes of you. And the big engine puffed off. The little train and all the dolls and toys were very sad. The big engine is not the only one in the world, cried the little toy clown. Here comes another. He looks very old and tired, but our train is so little. Perhaps he can help us. But the rusty old engine sighed. I, I am so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even so little train as yours over the mountain. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. And off he rumbled. By now the dolls and toys were ready to cry. But the little clown said, Here comes a little blue engine, a very little one. Maybe she will help us. The very little engine came chug, chugging merrily along. What is the matter, my friends? she asked kindly. Will you pull us over the mountain? cried the dolls and toys. Our engine has broken down and the good boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. I'm not very big. I have never been over the mountain. But I think I can. I think I can. I think I can and the little blue engine hitched herself to the train. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged and slowly, slowly, slowly they started off. 
puff, puff, chug, chug, went the little blue engine. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Up, 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 faster and faster the little engine climbed until at last they reached the top of the mountain. Hooray! Hooray! cried the little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in the city will be happy because you helped us! And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could! I thought I could! I thought I could! What a great book! Not only is it a fun book to read, it also has some great lessons. First of all, if you need help, please ask your parents or your teachers or even a friend if they can help you. Also, if you can help others and they ask you, please help them as well. And secondly, I'd also like to point out that sometimes when we try something the first time, it doesn't work. So what are you going to do? You're going to stop trying? No! Try again. Again, you may need to ask for help, but again, if you continue to try hard, you will be successful. So again, I want to thank you for sharing this time with me. Remember, let's start a reading revolution every day by just taking 20 minutes to read. It can be in the morning, it can be in the afternoon, or maybe even just 10 minutes each time you sit down and read. So again, I want to thank you and make this a great day. 